What's up everybody, my name is Avian Says, and welcome back to my channel. We're doing another makeup video today. I know I said I wasn't going to, but it turns out that it's okay, so we're gonna do it. Last time we used my Mellow Cosmetics Sinopia palette, so this time we're going to be using my Mellow Cosmetics Treasure Chest palette, and we're just gonna do a simple little look with it. Alright, so we're just gonna get right on into it because I don't have a whole lot of time today. <laughs> So I gotta kind of brush through this. We are going to start out as always with our Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. We're just gonna put that right onto our eyes so that we can move forward. Moving on. <laughs> Next, we are going to break into this palette. I am going to be using some of the darker matte browns along with some of these golden colors in the middle here. So we are gonna start off with dipping right into Onyx, which is this bottom color here. I'm just gonna pat it into the corners of my eyes. Now we are going to go ahead and dip into Tiger Eye and blend upwards from there. I'm gently going back in with Onyx to fill in these corners again. I'm still learning how to blend. <laughs> I don't think I've quite figured it out yet because I always have to go back in. I'll get it, don't worry. I'll get there eventually. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and top this off with pearl on the top of our brow bone to have a fade up into the lightest color. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, you probably can, my eyebrows are dark. There's no makeup on them, I dyed them last night. I'm so happy with how they turned out. So much easier to not have to worry about them. I don't think I wanna cut this, I think I just wanna go right in with amber. I'm just gonna put that all over our eyelid. I love the way that the golds in this palette shimmer. I'm such a fan of gold eyeshadow and I think it's really hard to find gold eyeshadows that really show gold. This one's so pretty. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do is just go back over this again with Onyx to blend out the crease a little bit. And we're done with the eyeshadow. Easy, right? Just brown, lighter brown, lightest brown, gold. <laughs> we're done. We're gonna go ahead and go in with our L'Oreal Blackest Black Infallible Eyeliner. I have been ordering or slash buying this stuff for years now. This is the first one ever that I've bought where it's like, immediately so smooth and creamy out the packet. I don't know if they changed their formula or what, but it's so much better than it was before. We're just gonna do a, hopefully a small wing. I guess we'll see how it goes, huh? Okay, so I had to work a little bit to get my eyeliner even. 
but it looks pretty even now and I've done my tight line so we can slap on some eyelashes. So we're going to be going in with our Lunar Angel Halo Lashes. As we all know, I'm obsessed with these. I was gonna use some smaller lashes today, but this turned out to be a little more extravagant than I was expecting. <laughs> so we're gonna use some extravagant lashes. I'm gonna be using my Secure Hold Glue to stick these on today. I want them to last all day. I'm going to be babysitting my niece later. and that might take a little extra glue. Although this stuff is extremely strong if you put enough on and it literally takes forever to get off. While we wait for those lashes to get tacky, we're going to prep our eyelashes with L'Oreal's Voluminous Lash Paradise, and then we're gonna curl them. I'm actually gonna curl them first because that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, now we can pop on the other one. Okay, our eyes are done. It took a little bit longer than I was hoping for, but here we are. Now we're gonna move on to our face. So we're gonna start off with our Tatcha primer. I'm gonna grab a headband. Don't judge me, this is the only headband I own. <laughs> so we're just gonna pop on some of our Tatcha liquid silk canvas. Oof, that was a lot. I'm gonna put it everywhere. Moving on from there, we're going to put on some of our Ilya True Skin foundation. I really gotta figure out this light and this light. Should I leave that on? to look better it definitely does I just can't see anything with it on whatever we'll leave it on please forgive me in my time of trying to figure out how to set up the camera correctly obviously I'm still new to um, video making I'm using a key light for the first time like since the last time I filmed <laughs> and it takes trial and error and I just haven't figured out <laughs> the right setup yet. Moving on from there, we're going to be going in with our Ilya True Skin Serum Concealer. To conceal. Now we're gonna go in with our Revlon Color Stay setting powder in translucent. I'm just gonna pat out the concealer under my eyes and then pat on some powder. Now we're gonna go in with our Tarte Tardiest Pro Glow To Go mini palette and we're gonna contour Now we're gonna go in with our Lime Crime Gigabyte Blush. <laughs> Cute. Okay, now we're just gonna put on a little bit of highlight from this palette. Just gonna go into Gleam, pat it onto my cheekbone. Oof. 
Holy smokes. And last but not least, dab it into burst. Put that on our brow bone. And to finish this look off, I'm just gonna put on some chapstick. So we're going in with Soft Lips Watermelon Scented Flavored Chapstick. We're just gonna put that on. I love chapstick. I have so many different kinds. I use it every day. <laughs> some cute, nice little hydrated lips with this look. So here is my completed look. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. That highlight is glowing. I am stoked that this is such an easy look that I can do pretty quickly when I need to. And it looks really nice. I could wear this like out during the day or I could wear it to like a wedding or something. So it's kind of a versatile little look here. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!